All right, let's get to our picks, bud. We got we got to do our picks here before you have to get off that game day set. And they actually got to. I know guys are doing remote interviews all day from there, aren't they? Yeah, but it, it's a lively set here. They got a full show about to pop off here in about an hour and a half. I oh, think. Geez. I mean, it's. I'm lucky to be here. Let's dive in. Okay, shall we, here we go. What, Tampa Bay is traveling to Pittsburgh to play the old Steelers, and the Steelers are six and a half point dogs at home. What do you have here, man? Eight and a half. Eight and a half dogs. Um, so it feels like you're supposed to pick the Buccaneers because how bad the Steelers looked last week when Gabe Davis went banana land. So with that being said, give me the Steelers plus eight and a half at mm -hmm. home. And when that fourth quarter starts, oh, mama, 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 there's going to be some no-named human, okay? Just like Big Bob Dump Truck Spillane did about a year ago. Some defensive guy that we don't know because of all the injuries that they have is going to make some big play, and then Tomlin afterwards is going to say, this is what we expected, the standard standard, even though we lost by 40. I, I think this is Steelers plus 8.5, and, a half, and uh, who knows what the Bucks are going to be at the end of the season. I just think this Sunday the Steelers are able to keep it close. Okay. I, I respect your pick. I'm taking the Bucks at minus 8.5 oh, to travel into Pittsburgh and get that thing done. I think they win by 10 or more. So. Jeez. All right, next one. Jacksonville. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Jacksonville's coming to Indy, Pat. Here we go. They're going to be there. The Marvel Comics are back. I hear they have this super high quality. Yes, they are. Marvel Woo! superhero characters, whatever they are called. I don't know if Batman will be there or Superman, no. but some of them will be there. There's Spider-Man. These, these are the boys. There we go. These are the boys. Having yeah. fun. Pittman. Building camaraderie. Man, that does look like a lot of fun, doesn't yeah. it? Alec Pierce looks like freaking oh, no. Thor. Hell, yeah. Colts rule out. Shaq Leonard and Quiddy Pay for Sunday against the Jags, Pat. That's via Tom Pelissero. Yeah, I guess Shaq Leonard's nose was completely fractured, like we saw right in front of our face. Had to get surgery on his nose, get a fix. His nose was bad. Like, that's what I thought the problem was, hmm. was his nose. It turned out to be a concussion and a nose. Hopefully they're able to get that fixed. I don't know what you do there if you're getting surgery to restructure your nose with a helmet the rest of the season. Let's hope he's back. We need him. I got the Colts, though, even though the Marvel thing, I think they're doing it again because they got the actual fucking Iron Man. Oh, Colts, Colts are favorite. Bob Downey? Yeah, Colts no, are I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's got to be Bob do, but I'm just It's got to be Robert Downey, to. right? Or at There's at no least. way they roll those fucking New York Times Square Marvel people back out onto that field in front of 70,000 oh, okay. people. There's we'll no see. Way. Keep your eyes peeled. I hope they do, but why hasn't Ur say, you know, dug into his bag of tricks and got like Slash to come out and play the Marvel theme song? That'd be sweet. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, let's do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, let's do it. Why not? Ursay's like the coolest dude of all time. Let's do it. Let's well, do it. They win a few more games. I think he may do that. I'm taking the Jags here, Pat. Jags yes. are dogs going into Indy uh, minus two and a half or plus two and a half. I'm taking Jacksonville right here. Okay, give me the Saints in that next one. Uh, I like the Saints just strictly because who knows? Yeah. The Bengals, have they protected Joey Burrow? It appears as if they have. We'll find Sometimes. out. I know Cam Jordan's an absolute dog trying to be rare, right. not trying to be elite, trying to be rare. Right. Uh, I like that Saints team all of a sudden, especially with Taysom Hill finding his way. Even though I still like the Bengals as a football team as a whole, I like the Saints in this particular matchup. Yeah, Jameis, okay. I believe, is playing. He practiced Ooh. the last two days Ooh. as well. But even if he's not, Andy Dalton revenge game. Oh, you're right. Hell yeah. Big okay, I'm Hell taking the Bengals yeah. here. But minus one and a half. Plus one and a half, Bengals. Minus. Minus, minus, one, minus one and a half, still still do it. I got the Bengals. Their next one, Jets traveling to Green That's Bay to play the Packers. Seven and a half point Orleans. favorites, Green Bay. I don't care. What about Give it? me Green Bay. Give me Aaron. Yeah. Everybody loves the Jets. They're over a touchdown underdog still. That means the sports books are saying, yeah. Yeah. Wade lightly. I take Give Green Bay Packers, here, too. Give me the Packers I, minus seven and a half. I for believe sure. LaFleur and Aaron are 10 and 0 against the spread and straight up after a loss. Yep. I could be wrong, but I think that's enough. That is correct. Okay. Look for go. Big Dog over yards. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. We need to put one of those together. Okay. New England traveled to Cleveland to play the Browns. New England's what? Two and a half point dogs or favorites? Uh, dogs. dogs. No dogs. Denzel Ward or Clowney for Cleveland. Jeez. No Damian oh. Harris for New England. Okay. Mac Jones has not yet been announced if he's playing or not. He's not playing. 
Even the Browns. Chubb's got 100 yards in every single game. He's the only guy in the NFL that has that. Remember last year, there was times where we'd be like, why aren't they giving the ball to Chubb? They're giving him now. Jacoby Brissett's a good leader, I think, in that Browns team at home with Bronny the Elf stomping, big stepping. Mm-hmm. Give me the Browns minus two and a half. No offense, Connor. You've been calling for a new quarterback already. No, it's okay. I understand that. But uh, to be fair, Bill Belichick, you know that Nick Saban thing that you uh, reposted on Saturday after the Texas A&M uh, win? Bill Belichick yeah. basically has been doing that for the Patriots social, and he actually broke down a couple of Nick Chubb runs. Oh. So I would maybe think about going and watching that and then taking the Patriots because it does seem <laughs> as though Bill is just going to figure it out. He's <laughs> going to put 10 in the box and then make Jacoby Brissett play him because he knows Brissett too, started in New England. Hey, Jacoby's a much different Jacoby now. Okay. True. Yeah. He's been at four different places. <laughs> older, right. older and slower. Con, you know what? I think you may have uh, yeah. you may have influenced me. I was thinking of going Browns. I'm taking the Patriots here at plus yeah. two and a half. Love Fuck. it. I like it. I just think you're right. He's going to force the Browns into make mistakes to beat themselves, which is kind of what they have done this year already. Yeah, exactly. And they'll probably give it to Mondre Stevenson right. know, 45 times. Okay, good. Like what, that. What's the next one we have up here? Uh, Vikings traveling to Miami to take on the Dolphins. Is Tua playing? No. I heard he's up no. and moving no, and throwing around, not. though, right? Yeah. yeah, maybe next week, not this week. Are people still going to be up in arms if he plays next week? And like, Probably. Yes. Probably. Yes, 100%. All right. I, I hope he feels Is it worth right. it? They're going to say, is it worth yeah. it uh, for him to make a grotesque amount of money for his family and future generations to play something he's very good at? I think it is. Yeah, to do what, is worth it. what he what loves. His brain? He's him, making the decision. He's an adult. Let him work it. Have they come back and said what that Bills one? Has anybody come back and said, yes, he definitely had a concussion? Has Tua talked about that first one yet? No, they kind of just swept that under the rug after the Thursday night football one. We fired the unk. Yep. The unaffiliated neuro trauma trauma consultant. consultant. Yeah. Also, no roughing the passer on that play. Cannot emphasize that enough. (laughs) It shouldn't have been been either. All right, Vikings are what? Not on my watch. Uh, Vikings... (laughs) Three-point favorites. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Seems Scott, like that should be more, right? Kind of scares you. Who's the starting quarterback for the Dolphins? Skyler Thompson. Thompson. Yeah, that's, not Teddy. That's a tough one. I got Vikings here, Pat, at minus three. Me too. And give me the Giants in that next one, pal. Ooh, oh, wait. Giants, Ravens, minus six. The Ravens are favorite. You know what? I'll take the Ravens here. I got to do it. I, I like this game. I think that's going to be a fun game a to watch. A wink revenge game. Are you- they need to. Yes, Wink is about to go bananas, but there's yeah. only one Lamar, and Wink knows that. Yeah. Um, they should have paid Lamar. Yep. Yeah, the, lo- think? the longer the longer into this thing, I just keep thinking of it. Like, not that Lamar would ever not be committed fully to a team because I think Lamar's a great teammate and everything like that. But like, you pay Lamar, like maybe a play where he wouldn't, you know, go out of bounds. He fucking cuts that thing back and goes for no- like, you know what I mean? Like, I I honestly think that that am I overthinking this? No, he has no. to think so. In the back of his mind, he has to know like, hey, I'm all in on this this franchise, this place. I don't know if they're all in on me. They seem like they are, but the fact that they haven't paid me yet, he yeah, he has to feel something. It feels like That's too, what, like, it, and that affects that could affect him on the field. I think Connor, sorry about that. Yeah. I, I think no. it could affect the decision making and playmaking ability on the field. Connor, your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. And it feels like before we were talking about like the Watson deal, something like that, and now it feels like, oh no, he's going to get the Mahomes like ten year, five hundred million because of how good he's played. Yeah, it's just I don't know that, and I'm not saying that's from Lamar. I don't know anybody in Lamar's camp. That's not the way he feels. This is just me with the way he plays, me trying to put myself into Lamar's footstep, which even like sub- subconsciously it could be happening a couple times here or there. He's not trying, like he's not actively thinking about it, I don't think. And he's he's handled he's it as well as he could. Too. And we've yeah. watched a lot of terrible quarterbacks yeah. on Thursday night That's football. A good point. Yeah. That's a good point, Eddie. Yeah. They right. ate a lot of money, those guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Niners, Falcons, Pat. Niners at Falcons. Niners are what? Five and a half. Five and a half point favorites against mm. the Falcons. Man, Artie Smith. He's pretty upset still, I would imagine, over what happened with, with uh, Grady Jarrett there and Tom Brady. What do you think here, Pat? So the Niners stayed on the East Coast. They were with the Panthers. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. uh, And then they stayed, and trip. they just been living in a hotel all week. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but I think it's probably a good team-building experience. I like Artie Smith in them, but I think if I learned anything from in the trenches, it's like they got a good run scheme, but you know who the granddaddy of good run <laughs> schemes is? The Niners. This yeah. feels like this is going to be a big brain versus big brain. And I like the Niners to kind of, after a, a bowl week almost in the middle of the season, to really rally together even more than they ever have in the past with Jimmy G, you know. like that. They have to be around each other when they're all in hotels. Jimmy wasn't there for training camp. 
I think that's a. I think that's good for the Niners. I like the Niners here, even though I'm still a fan of the Falcons. Yeah, and the Niners uh, did uh, lose a few guys on defense, but they definitely still. I think Bosa was practicing. I just saw Bosa's practicing. Yep. Yeah, he's. Uh, practicing. That's all that matters. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. D'Amico's good. bringing the heat anyway. It don't matter who's in. Now it helps, but I think with D'Amico, they're bringing it regardless, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Fred yeah. Warner's still there, and yeah. Troy Palomalu 2.0. Hell yeah. Yeah, D'Amico Ryan's probably on the fast track to become a head coach <laughs> soon. I would believe. I, I'll take the Niners here as well. Uh, I like what they're doing. All right, Carolina goes to L.A. to take on yeah. the Rams, and Carolina are ten point dogs. Is that real? P.J. Walker is playing. Yep, Baker. I like P.J. Like man, P.J. can P. play. Me too. I like P.J. Ten points is a I lot. Like Ten's a lot, huh? Yeah, and Michael Lombardi said they got a good defense, and Ooh. if we know anything about the Rams, Carolina, they just, they like just fired their D coordinator yep. too. Yeah. So now. Carolina did so. Their their uh, Wilkes took I, over. Oh, as this is a classic interim. fired coach game. That's yeah. right. Uh huh. And the Rams have looked like shit. So bad. True. Oh, the Panthers are going to cover. This is fired coach game. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yep, New energy. Yep. Everybody trying to prove Give me themselves Carolina again. as well. And Wilkes even said, didn't Wilkes kind of didn't he say like change is good or whatever? Like yeah. he, it sounds like he did not like what was going on there. Mm-hmm. Right now, to what we were just talking about, doesn't mean that that's going to remain. You no, know? but at least you get a couple. It does weeks, have man. a honeymoon. Yeah, we you get a couple. Yeah, weeks. It does have a honeymoon. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, what's Could the Could go next good. Thing? Could go Could great. Bad. Could be amazing right now. Cardinals, another team, which who knows what they are from week to week. Cardinals traveling to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. Cardinals are two-and-a-half-point favorites. How is that? Good question. Well, that's because they have the number one about? offense. Seattle's they have the defense. number one offense in the NFL, and okay. they're at home. Geno Smith has been picking people apart. The Cardinals' defense hasn't really been doing that fantastic. That's what I'm saying. I like to see. Uh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. I thought, I would, I'm sorry. I thought Seattle should be favorites here almost. Oh, at, at home, oh, oh. at home, especially don't they already, they don't do the three oh. point garbage at home with 12. Oh, I thought you meant it should have been bigger. I think I, it's Seattle, that's, oh. Seattle's like number one offense, 31st defense, actually maybe 32nd defense now. But Arizona's offense is like, OK, from first to second half, what are we going to get? What are we oh, get? Yeah. what kind of car? Yeah. Kyler, are we getting Give me Seattle? Dude. Hell yeah, right. mm-hmm. I'm taking Seattle. As that well. sound yeah. interesting. Gino's only been a starting quarterback, what, for one and a half years on that team. And it seems like they're more established together. Than Kyler in Arizona, which yeah. is weird. It does seem to be that. And way, we talked about it? this after last week. The over in the Seattle games, uh-huh. even though it is the Cardinals, the over oh. in Seattle typically feels to be a number great one game. offense, dude. There's yeah. hey, Gino is making throws right now mm-hmm. yeah. that are what did what did he trade MVP? Mark? What yeah. was it? Well, they, they wrote told me. Off. me yeah. Yeah, I didn't write back. I didn't write back. back. I, said, I didn't write yeah. back. Also, yeah. last game for Arizona without D Hop. So there could be a oh, couple man. Kyler fucking throws. I get my guy back next week. Okay, geez. Oh, that probably feels good. Okay, Pat Buffalo is traveling to Kansas City. We had Gabe Davis on talking about this a little bit earlier. Buffalo's two and a half point Ooh. favorites oh. in Kansas City. What a line. What a game. Where are you gonna go with this? Uh, give me the Bills. I, I mean, I love the Chiefs, but I'm, Gabe Davis was just on the show. Von Miller's on the show. Like, yeah, good vibes. Want our people it. to do their thing. Give me the Buffalo Bills, pal. Yeah, I like the Bills here too. I think they're D line. Everything. I think it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a fun. fucking great game, though. This is this is super. Like, this is yes. divisional round conference. This is massive this game is, early. Both yeah. teams playing well. Oh yeah, er, this early in the season to have a big game like this, I, we're lucky to to be able to watch that one. So what? Lions, yeah, Titans, you, man, next so. one? No, that last Bye one week. is Cowboys, Eagles. Oh. Cowboys, Eagles. Okay, Cowboys are six and a half point dogs traveling to Philly to take on the Fighting Sirianis. What are you doing here? I love Sirianni. I'm thankful for the Eagles. Six and a half is. I think the Eagles win. Who? Yeah. Like Cowboys plus six and a half. Hell yeah, man! Yep. I like the Cowboys plus six and a half here as well. Man, I would take the over at forty two and a half too. I mean, I don't need. I'm not doing it for us. I'm just saying in like general. Twenty seven, twenty four is like a. I'm not saying that they'll probably be higher than that, but 27 24 is like a good game, like a standard, like good game. Yeah. Six yeah. and a half is double that. I mean, that thing can go, that's a lot. I they feel like on this yeah. type of game on Sunday night football. Conditions? Any kind of windy or rain or anything? I'm not sure. Well, just with Dallas's defense, too. Dallas's yes. defense is so damn good. It's just tough to see. I mean, I think they're going to be close and competitive in damn near every game they play as long as Cooper Rush. What did we learn last night, Ty? What did we learn last night? If it looks like it's going to be good, it's good. Yeah, uh-huh. you're right. Like last last night, that was supposed to be an under. That was supposed to be a terrible trust game. Our eyes, it looked right? like it was supposed mm-hmm. to be. It is. Yeah, trust our eyes. That, that's right. AJ, more confident in the playbook, would trust our eyes. I- 